Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com and this is your new shot and it's Freaky Friday. And by God, do I have an article for you because according to SHTFplan.com, discovery of caves on the moon raises hope for lunar human habitation. I wouldn't go that far. Um, but it's certainly interesting that we found caves on the moon. Imagine that. Says Japan Space Agency said it discovered an enormous cave beneath the lunar surface that could be turned into an exploration base for astronauts. It appeared to be the perfect spot for the humans to colonize the moon. The discovery made by Japan's uh, selenological and engineering explorer, uh, Selene, comes as several countries compete to follow the United States in sending manned missions to the moon. Using a radar sounding system, they can examine underground structures, the orbital uh, the orbiter initially found an opening 50 meters wide and 50 meters deep, prompting speculation that there could be a larger hollow. Scientists at JAXA confirmed the presence of the cave. According to the Guardian, the chasm appears to be structurally sound and its rocks may contain ice or water deposits that could be turned into fuel, according to data sent back by the orbiter. Nickname Kagya, after the moon's princess in a Japanese fairy tale. JAXA believes that the cave located uh, for a, from a few dozen meters to 200 meters beneath an area of volcanic domes known as uh, Marius Hills on the moon's north side or near side is a lava tube created during volcanic activity billions of years ago. The agency said the chamber could be used as a base for astronauts and their equipment because it would protect them from the extreme temperatures. Lunar temperatures range from an average of 107 degrees Celsius during the day to a minus 153 Celsius at night. And radiation from the sun's ultraviolet rays, of course, is extremely dangerous. Of course, ultraviolet rays are probably the least of your concerns when it comes to, to radiation because you've got gamma and X-ray coming in at all times from all sides throughout the cosmos. And humans just aren't built to live outside the Van Allen belt. I mean, yeah, okay, we can go visit, but once you're away from that Schumann resonance and once you experience that radiation head on, it doesn't bode well for our physiology. You know, our cells are not designed to do that. That's why you have people like Craig Venter, um, Dr. Craig Venter, who's talking about splicing cockroach or fly DNA with humans to basically genetically engineer our next generation astronauts that are going to go to Mars so that they can absorb or they can be resistant to radiation. Instead of sending anybody now or sending people that are already here, no, we start growing them now and then they're raised to complete the mission. So this is very interesting. Of course, we've been seeing a lot of talk of privatization of space travel, even going to the moon. Uh, with companies like Amazon and Tesla leading the way, and Richard Branson of Virgin Galactic. So, very interesting. They found a huge cave on the moon. I'll bet you, I'll bet you they're going to find more. Who knew? The man on the moon? We may find him yet. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Ooga Booga.